Welcome back, everyone, to Frambo. I'm Firefly. I'm Rumpus. We found uh, the doctor, I forgot his name, Dearn. Darcel Dearn. Yeah, Darcel Dearn. We're at the cemetery, and we oh, got, he's got to show us some stuff. <laughs> it's Marcel Dearn, or something like that. Well, I don't know, it's Dr. Dearn. Dr. Dearn. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't. Alright, so let's go follow the doctor. Oh. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Why'd you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the one, the guilty ones, we will have justice. He's like a detective now. Look at this. Yeah. This get up. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. So we're gonna desecrate some bodies. Yeah, they're already dead. It's fine. That's <laughs> not how the law sees it. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already, not the deedle. Yeah, the deadly. We realize that afterward. It's deadly, yeah. not deedle. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's a second e. Who? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. We're going to break the law. To enforce the law. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go left, you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Dearn, I'll see you soon. Get the fuck out of here. You crazy ass. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? <laughs> <laughs> Martin Bow. 1901, 1944, he was 43. The mother was younger than him. Mm hmm. 39. Lucia Bo Dagenhot. Dagenhot. Oh, lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. Mommy, this is very hard, knowing that you're not around anymore. Hello, father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. Fran Bo, huh? I wonder who came up with a lie like this one. A little candle keep my parents warm. What about the other candles? Huh? <laughs> Pine cones! Oh. No name, no flowers, maybe nobody is down there. Maybe. But nobody likes to be dead, so that's great. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Pine cones. Do you have something in your inventory that you can use Kniff. tonight? This won't work. Huh. Hmm. Burn it down! <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Throw the cat doll at it. Nyer! <laughs> Uh, oh, maybe I could light the candle. It's I don't think your inventory was there when... Yeah. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, maybe there is something to the left. Oh. In the car? Ah! Know. The crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Hmm, the gearbox. I wonder if he... It has little secrets inside. I never touched a steering wheel before. Father never allowed that. It can't be good to press all the buttons. This is all the... Nyer -nyer. Okay, so we got a crowbar. Get to go open that door. Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh my god! Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio! Oh, 
but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. <laughs> I have big eyes. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Ew. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the de the deadly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but... We can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, all right, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? Huh. All right. I'll see what I can do. Where the fuck am I going to find leather? No name, no flowers. Maybe the teddy bear. But I can't, uh, I don't think I can still use anything on it. Yeah. Maybe you can take it, though. Huh. You must take care of my parents. The book? Oh. Oh! Oh. Maybe just try and give the book to them. Oh, maybe. Get out of here. Oh, wait, oh. no, I just can't. Well, shiz. Maybe there's something in the car. <laughs> Cut the leather seats. Whoops, what a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. <laughs> He's just Sorry about your this car. Guy's car. <laughs> You're probably sitting doing nothing while I'm trading goods and services for things. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're kind of cute looking. Look, look, they look better yeah, than the picture. Yeah. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zilus, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. <laughs> oh, ouch. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I am, I'm alright, miss. Yes! Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh, uh, Fabio! Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me! I have the leather! I have the leather so that we can mate. He's like, don't. Why did you do that? <laughs> huh, there's nothing in here I could use. Wow, great. Da. Now it's time to burn the place down. Oh. Oh, fuck. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. I totally didn't destroy your car for nothing. Sorry. Totally did destroy it for nothing. Sorry! Are we digging my parents up? Yep. Dig a dig a dig a dig dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig dig a tunnel. Na 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 na. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But can but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. You open my dead parents' coffins, yeah. Alright, sir. I'll open them. This totally isn't traumatizing. 
at all. Go with the left one. Coffins can't be open. The lids are set. Oh. Uh. Ah! Oh my goodness, father! The deadly worms took your eyes. Oh, mother, you're so skinny and a bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Jesus, let's see if I'm here. <gasps> Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? I don't know, they don't look very chopped up. No, sir. Right? I just feel really bad about doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you. Your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Yeah! I, like, hit her in the back of the head with the shovel. Uh. <gasps> oh. What the fuck did you do? Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Am I dead again? Yet again. I can't be a tree this time. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Ew. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. This is heartless over here, Jeebus. The House of Madness. Yeah. Uh, oh. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Oh. Um. And Grace? Is that you? But darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran off after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? She blamed the fucking cat. But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say, it, Grace? She did it. Why am I chained? Why am I chained to the bed? Hmm? She wanted you all for herself. She was jealous of a sister. Holy shit, so she, imagine? I think that's what she it is. fucking murdered her. <laughs> ah! I'll always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me. Now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of truth will always 
die because the evil will never hide. Why are you speaking to me in goddamn... Ri- what is going on here? And what is this? Ew. What is this, Aunt Grace? It's watching. Forever watching. <laughs> little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Oh. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. What? That's that's some weird shit. Oh, you took the fucking door. Oh no, don't leave me here. And Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. They're they're not soft. Cat's claws are not soft. Not soft. Uh. I hope he is fine. But what should I do now? It's the rabbit. Oh. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound. It never stops. Now I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Yeah. Maybe. There's another version of me in this room, in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. So if I stab myself... Oh. Hee <laughs> hee, I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. Time from the cuckoo clock. The doll likes to read a lot, I know, because I taught her. I wish Mr. Midnight would come through the window to save me. <gasps> oh, what the f- And the wind took all the magical dust away! Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you're chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You really are. My high heels. La la la. <laughs> you think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? What's wrong with you? How old are you? <laughs> you five? What's going on? I mean, you're ten. Think probably about like it. six. Maybe. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. Do you think I'm dead? Me being chained here? You think I'm dead? <laughs> really? R- really right now? Really? Really? <laughs> no, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. Oh, sure it is. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones, the pink ones, the green ones. Do you and know so why on. we can see these things? What? And so on. And so on. <laughs> so many colors, yes. Yes. A man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. And Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway. Let me see if I can unlock you. It just so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Oh, this was in the beginning. Yeah. One more time. La la la. Oh, that's weird. The shirt is angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was a dumb shirt. These are pants that can be used by creatures with two legs. Or as a hat for those with long ears. Anyway, I won't use them now. The blue scarf from winter time. What is it doing here? It's not winter. <laughs> I'll pick it up some other time. 
This is my super cute rabbit. I like to make it cry. Weird. But only to make it laugh again. Oh. And then be mad at it. The big, big teddy that eats big, big monsters. Please talk. I know you can. No? You're a bad teddy. Did you like my show, little bear? I was the greatest dancer of them all. Thank you. You really think so. <laughs> You're too upset. Would you like to talk? I know it's hard not having a leg. I can't find it, alright? It's not my fault. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? I'm just a funny, clever girl, that's all. The door's closed. If I opened it, I'll get in trouble. If I get in trouble, I'll be sad. <clears throat> Let's just stop in the Narnia here. Oh, there's a dress. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, my yellow dress is pretty. I'll try not to grow up too much so I can use it forever. <clears throat> but if I grow up, I can use it as a skirt. A sure. shirt. A shirt. Yes, a shirt. Ah, uh, that jacket. I always must put on that jacket to go outside. I can't even play then. It's quite useless. One blue blanket and one white. I don't need them right now. They are for when it's very cold. Crayons to draw happy faces on everything. Or to give color to the ugly things. Yeah. Or just to draw on paper. Hmm. I don't feel like drawing right now. Maybe I could make a paper boat. Maybe. Paper boat. Paper oh, boat. Yeah, it knows how to make paper boat. He does. But I can't. I'm on a mission. Let's concentrate. Some of my clothes, clothing to make shows. I like to dress differently for every show. Just a wad of clothes. It in gives the more character. Right, just fucking throw them in the corner. Uh. Did you do bad things? That's why you are grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. <gasps> oh. Montress, Edward. And that weird little girl. I Shining little after... girl. <laughs> Shining, right. I do this after my adventure with Itward and Palantris. I think Palantris is funny and smells like bubblegum. And Itward looks, likes to play all day long. That's a lot of fucking keys. It's a key collector. My key collection. I hope I can unlock the other fan now. Let's see, which key? Maybe this one. I won't, let's try another. It won't fail, let's try another one. Aha! Unlocked! Thank you so much, Fran! <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget. Palantras told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. The little god of her- Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. <gasps> I forgot the voice I did for her. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. I think you did the voice for her. I, I did the. I don't know. I think you did. And Maybe. I did, I did the voice for um, the other. Oh, uh, the butch nurse. nurse. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh... No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, fucking bad nurse. Bugging. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody! But we'll continue finding Mr. Midnight next time. Yes, we will. I'm Firefly. I'm Rumpus. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Be safe. Cast, Cast on. on.